the James Nelson here again from Dude Craft Guitars. You're hearing this new Digby. This is a custom order. This one's gone. It's sold. It's bye bye. But uh, I always like to do a little sample video so everybody gets a chance to hear what hear what you're missing, except for your uh, one person anyway. But anyway, this is what you're you're hearing. This one we put in a square back little P90 in there. It's got, it just has such a grippy tone. I love it. Okay, there's a blended sound. Sweet little bell sound. And here's your bridge pickup for it. As bright as you'd expect it to be. Um, well, we did kind of change the tone a little bit to mellow it out. As uh, even though you heard that was bright, but it's also real snappy. So we put in a Ricky bridge here, and this one actually uh, it's got the cover on it now. Of course, that's removable. But what we also did is instead of putting the tailpiece up here, which would be about midway where it normally would be, it was right about in there, pulled it back a little bit. So it kind of doubled the the length of the string tension here. Reason being is obviously most uh, Rickies that you'd see this kind of bridge on actually have a trapeze type tailpiece, so a tailpiece back here anyway so they're used to having that little longer string length on it but we wanted it since it's a solid body guitar to actually uh, be connected to the wood and really give you a good sustain good sound that's all the nerdy stuff I'm gonna give you on that the, the whole concept is I mean this is a solid ash body single piece right here uh, we've got a maple neck that, look, look at that joint I mean that's just that's a set neck nice nice clean joint on it this one's got a real mellow finish on it we didn't go uh, super high gloss on it it's uh, what I call low buff and reason being is because I don't know if you actually see it on the camera but it's actually got little uh, faux shrews it's not really in the green but actually some uh, you know we made some grooves for the shrews to go over because we did a stain with the black green again more nerdy stuff for you I, I promised I wasn't gonna do that but I did anyway um, <laughs> it's just little stuff, just to make the finish pop, give us something a little different, something you're not going to get off the shelf from a, a factory guitar made, in, you know, overseas. This is actually just something that you're you're going to see um, luthiers make. I mean, I was inspired much by a lot of guys that I see, you know, in uh, in uh, some just like better better builds that you'll see out there, and and I'm I'm really proud about it. I mean, I I think we're we're getting there. As far as getting these custom builds into something that, again, is not off the shelf. This is not your, uh, it's not your department store guitar at all. What's it sound like with distortion, James? Well, all right. Well, since you asked. Okay, and that's that's with the distortion course sloppy play. That's a combination pickups here's just the neck oh, God, it's such a cool tone pinch harmonics just screaming off that humbucker on the bridge. Let's see if I can get a couple off that neck pickup. Of course it's gonna be a lot mellower there, but it's just a such a cool guitar there it is there's your dig before you again thanks for supporting dude crafty